Alrighty, now we follow the dot. The dot is law. I thought there was a fog beast for a second there. Uh, fortunately not. I think it might be further ahead before you turn to actually go down into the hush land. I didn't want to fight you, but if you want some, you'll get some. It's not like it costs us anything to kill you. Dum -de -dum. So at this point, you just follow the dotted line and it'll take you where you want to go. You got it. So down here? Yeah, through this path. And I think we're going to turn and that takes us down into the Hushland. Yeah, I see it on the map now. I had my spot a bit wrong, as usual, but not too far off. Oh, Spa. Oh, boy, did it rage. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the areas on the shoulder, at least in the grassland, kind of look the same. Racist. <laughs> I was like, Pow! didn't even hesitate. Oh yeah, we've still got to get Harvest Stone and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Rah. High lightning. Interesting. Oh, I have one. I guess we already had one of those as well. I do wish there was some kind of notification when you picked up something you hadn't picked up before. You have this already, idiot. Stupid fool. Backer. Oh, wow, this is a completely new area. Yeah, this is leading down into the Hushlands, so... Uh, a lot of people haven't been here, because I think the NPC even said no one's been this way, so it's not really mapped out. Huh. Seeing the dinos in a uh, a plane setting is a bit weird, I'm not going to lie. There's a fog beast there, so... Yes, yes there is. I think there's also a fog beast flying around. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. And I'm pretty sure they're in such close proximity that uh, you can get one and the other together. Ah. Fucking run! This is, uh, this is not where you want to be fighting with all the fog beasts around. Unique monster music is playing as well. Can I take these? Uh, no, probably not. <laughs> Fine. At least we got a quick travel point. <laughs> At least we did. Yeah, a lot of torches there. Yep, uh, and you can see that big one that's kind of glowing with the, the black stuff. The fog. Yeah, I see you. Uh-huh, I'm pretty sure he's one of the unique fog beasts. If I recall correctly. He sure is. <laughs> Custodian Barrel Dart. Yep, he's a unique monster and a fog beast, so definitely don't want to fuck with that. I'll come back and I'll destroy them all. This is actually a really cool area. This is unlike anything that we saw in Xenoblade before, I think. It's kind of a little bit like Sartor Marsh. A little bit, yeah, which is probably why all the Sartor, you know, tortoises are here. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't want to fight two of those at once. I wonder if the game was expecting us to be higher level than we are. Hmm, I wonder. Well, waste not- No! You idiots! Pod Spectres, no! What are you doing? Let's focus our efforts. Understanding. Ah. Actually, I called them back before they aggroed it. Oh, 
I sleep. And then sleep again. At least the second one used it while everyone was already asleep, instead of doing it immediately after you woke everyone up. Oh yeah, that's the annoying shit right there. Well, fighting above my weight level will uh, help get more EXP, which is needed right now. You could also probably, when we get done with this, check your uh, arts as well and see if any of those can be leveled up. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna fucking blow you up out the sky, mate. See what that comet rod does for Melly. Oh, just a improvement all around, really. Yeah, quite nice. Uh, where's that ether? Hmm, I don't think you have any ether up. There we go. That'll do for now. This is our Brog in all but name. One of the islands in Aerith Sea has these enemies at like level 90 something, but they level them down to be in here, I guess. I don't recall seeing any of these, and I did scour pretty much all of Aerith. There is a lot to explore in Aerith Sea, in the sense that there's a lot of ground and water to cover. It unfortunately has the same problem of there not being a whole lot to actually do there, which I find a little disappointing. Especially since most of the islands that you have to swim a really long way to get to are like really high level enemies. So you spend a long time getting there thinking there's going to be a payoff only for something to rip your face off. And there's a few with uh, normal level enemies, and then a level 80 unique will pop out of the water and scare the shit out of you. Talking from experience. I mean, we saw it earlier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so close to the perfect level. Hello, you. Uh, we could take this thing. Come on, Kino, do your job. Yeah, and Nene as well. Too bad. Perfect. As long as it's just one or two enemies fighting higher level like that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. And now I am the perfect level. Whom's the fuck? No, I'm doing my job, thank you very much. It's probably a quad wing that was up in the tree. Possibly. God. Thank you. So weird to see these things not at like level 80 and whatnot. Those things are level 99 in uh, Magna Forest, yeah. Or 98. I think there's a unique that's level 99. Sorry, I just want to feel like a big man by beating one of these for once. <laughs> Assistance. 
I'm gonna bomb you back to the Stone Age, mate. Oh yeah, get that pose. See ya. Wow, that was a lot of EXP. Oh yeah, I think the Soros have like one of the highest uh, XP curves to like reward you. Uh, that one we're probably going to stay away from. Yeah, I'm going to stay away from that. I'm just going to stay away from that. <laughs> That's when Entop turns on casual mode and goes to town. This is the cave uh, where the uh, crystal is, which I'm pretty sure we're going to need to be a higher level to take on. Oh, who cares? We'll give it a shot, I guess. Live a little spur. <laughs> Stop being such a... Ooh, bright eye. Interesting. That was for a quest. Nice, another quiet moment. Nop on swarm things. This is what's known as a gang war. Uh, why Mr. Shelp stopped so sudden? I was just thinking about the cave near Colony 9. Do you know it, Nene? It's called Tefra Cave. This is your reward Nene, for playing the base game. Nene tag along once with group of Hom Hom. Went to fetch ether cylinders. Huh. I've done that too sometimes. Went with Ryan a couple of times. Went with Ryan and Fiora one time, and that was the start of a really bad day, Nene, that I don't want to talk about. So you did your part to help Nene. Although if it hadn't happened, we wouldn't be here right now. That's true. Thanks per se. Just doing civic duty. Must stay friends and work together with all peoples that live in world. <laughs> That's right. But folk here have a lot of angry scuffles. Fight between neighbors bad. Should watch Nene and Kino. Learn to everyone play nice. Well. I wouldn't say the people here are enemies, exactly. They just... don't know how to work out their feelings. Life is usually just more complicated than just good and bad. Fighting? It's not exactly like fighting. As much as, you know, the Nop on talk so and sort of kitty words sometimes, they do have good ideas, though. Because, I mean, looking at... You know, Nino... Nino and Kene, yes. Nene and Kino. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's your Chepsy Palace moment, mate. Yep. Uh, looking at those two, and, and you see how well they get along despite not actually being, you know, blood related. Uh -huh. You know, you, you you take some thought from that and think, okay, they're brother and sister, but not related by blood. So like, why can't I just be friendly with these other people? Who were my brothers in arms, or something like that? No. End of end, friendship become much stronger. Being friends mean a whole lot more fun, and more fun is more good. Fun things are fun. Everyone in Colony Nine was friends from start to start. Well, that's because everyone there was working to help rebuild. We all share the same dream. Everyone gets a condo. Everyone gets a Monado. Ah, a Monado condo. Now, I guess. But Melly is doing the best she can, and we need to as well. Nene, understand? Nene will wait until Miss Melly and make dreams of everyone mush together as one. That's right. Just force everyone together. If dream of Miss Melly not go through to everyone, in that case, Nene will. Nene will. And no one spared, even not Mr. Shulk. <laughs> what? Me as well? <laughs> Just promise to be gentle. Ah, uh, Fiora's gonna fucking kill me. Jesus, first Melly and then Nene. God, God, Shulk, leave some for the rest of us. Oh, this is a long staircase. 
Hey, Tom. Yes? Do you like spiders? No. Well, there's a whole bunch of them here. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is kind of like the Earth Temple in Wind Waker. I was going to say it's kind of like Tefra Cave. Well, there's a lot more man-made stone stuff here. Yeah, uh, that thing patrols around this area. It's probably going to come over here and smack you. Why, why are these things so tough? Uh, well, being level 71 and 72 doesn't help. Good stuff. I think it is fortunately going to leave you alone. Damn well better. At least until I'm done with this thing. Nice. Oh. Uh. It's a unique with Spike. Shazam! Oh, it's Spike or as Paralysis. So it's not like it's going to do a whole bunch of damage to you with it. Eh, get rid of it anyway, why not? For 10 seconds at least. Let's fucking go! I do miss the old uh, chain attacks, but this isn't bad. It's at least good for a laugh. <laughs> Doesn't know who to attack. Aggro's just going back and forth. Now the thing that is bad about... Ow. Okay. As I was going to say, the thing that is bad about Paralysis is... It's going to make it a lot slower for you to build up your Monado gauge. Just got to keep that going. A little bit, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. I think if you keep armor up as much as possible, you'll be okay. Mm -hmm. That virgin bite attack is going to hurt, because that goes right through the armor. Someone please make me feel better. It's a tough one, so it is. Yeah, it's, it's a big one. Oop, there goes Nene. It's okay, I'm paying attention, I'm paying attention. Because you don't have visions, there's not really anything you could do about that virgin bite attack. You, you would have to anticipate when it's going to happen to use shield, and there's not really a good way to do that. Please make me happy. Please make me happy. Truthfully, I think you've got the right idea keeping your Monado gauge on armor. Because I think a lot more of the outgoing damage is going to be from its other attacks rather than this one. Slightly but surely, it will be worth it. It will be worth it. Yeah, you're gonna get a ton out of this. Oh, 
What I really need about now is a, uh, a Pond Spectre attack. It's unfortunate that you keep having to spend it on the revives, though. It's fine. But that keeps us in the game. It sure does. Oh, there's another one over there. It's getting slowly closer. Pretty sure it stays in place or just patrols that one area. You do have to go right by it, though. Alright, just a little bit more. Nice. There we are, nicely done. 69,000 XP. About time to... Ah, nice. That's probably some really good drops, too. Uh, not as good, honestly. More slots, but you don't really have anything to put in the gem slots, so... Not sure if it's worth it. Hello there. Oh boy. Yep, don't want to fall down there. Arachno Queen. Keep forgetting, don't run by these things, they listen. They they don't actually have eyes, I'm pretty sure, so they're attracted to sounds. Probably just run past the queen. Uh, you might be able to. It's not too far up those steps, the thing we're looking for, I'm pretty sure. You can see the marker on your mini-map. Oh yeah, so I can. I huh, wonder if I can get to level 70 before this is done. Uh, maybe, depending on how much you want to fight. We'll see, we'll see. Hmm, that's a dead Chromar. Sure is. I wonder what that's doing here, he says knowingly. Pond Spectre attack? Why yes. Yes I will. Yes. Wow, just obliterated them. <laughs> well, they did drop a nuke on the fuckers. Give me more for the Collectopedia! Ah. Hello there. Take his dog. You really don't want to be dealing with that and the other thing. I think it just obliterated you. Jesus. Fuck off with your casual mode prompt. I care not. It's story time, we can't do casual mode. No, 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 no. No, no, you must be casual. <sighs> can't believe everything in it wants to kick my ass. I mean, that's kind of everywhere in the game. I wonder if I can go up these stairs. 
You could probably walk up the stairs. Dum 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 dum. Pretty sure the spiders will leave you alone by the time you get up here. But what of the chromas? Oh, yeah, you can't do that in combat, unfortunately. Thank you, camera angle. He's <laughs> got a gripe. Huh. Oh, the big spider followed. That's wonderful. Ah, uh, we're running. No, see ya. Oh, fuck me. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Let me out this motherfucker. I think the spider moved. I don't know. See ya. Yeah, you don't want to go in there. I promise you don't want to go in there. <laughs> okay, at least you have a quick travel point. Watch. This is what's called an epic gamer maneuver. <laughs> I'm going to show you how cool I am. Pretty sure you really didn't even have to fight that, but this thing by itself is probably okay. The things I do for EXP. <laughs> uh, this cave is kind of nuts. <laughs> I've always thought you had to get it inside the ring, but it's uh, actually on the dot. Uh, the best thing is uh, the outer edge of the ring. That's the uh, best result for those. There you go, much better. More aggro, yes. That's what we need. <laughs> Larry, to go up. Yeah, no wonder she was barely doing any damage. Chive sober. <laughs> it gets me every time. Shield to smash. Hangry. Uh, Got in a pinch. I do have some art coins, so I could get some art books. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I would definitely work on uh, Kino's healing skills. The backslash is fully upgraded, as it should be. More armor, mo better. Mo better equals mo armor. Give me that cush. Nice. Top or plus. Art seal resist. Hmm. It's probably not enough to really be worth using. Oh, we didn't come here for these anyway, so. Alright, now I think we go back to Grandel. And get the hell out of this place. Get the hell out of this hell beast lair. <laughs> Jesus. One of these quiet moments is remember that giant spider base? And it's like, no. I don't remember that place. Ugh. You better be grateful, Radsom. So now what we need to do is modify the weapon to incorporate the crystals. Mm. 
needs him, sir. Four beasts have broken through the gate. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, right. This triggers automatically. Is this gotta be fun, Spa? Uh, I don't think it's anything too bad. We shall deal with the intruders. I want to say these are like level 71. And I'm pretty sure they're like... The enemies are either by themselves or like just one or two along with them, so... Thinking it shouldn't be too bad. I'll do this and then we'll call it though. Why did I search Fog Beasts on the wiki and the first page that pops up is Heart to Hearts? Yeah, I don't know about that one. I wonder if that quiet moment over there is a uh, pop in right now. Probably after this segment, I'm pretty sure it will be. Because this is where a lot of them trigger. Interesting. The hulking fog beasts. Oh, they're so swole. Yeah, okay, okay. No, not yet. Okay. Uh, if I'm in the right spot, it looks like these enemies are going to be 70 and 73. Okay. And might also be 71. I'm not sure. Again, because the wiki's kind of missing a lot of info about Future Connected, it doesn't really say where, like what part of the story they appear in, just that they're in Grandel. So I can't really place uh, where they might show up at. I require arts coins. Mo coins, mo better. You're right, Spa. I was wasn't really sure if I wanted to say that because I just used that joke five minutes ago. But here we are. <laughs> well, this is HFC, mate. Yeah, I had the thought that a couple weeks ago we had the Pokemon Nuzlocke. Then we had Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, and then we had Xenoblade. The three games that are always part of HFC. That's what I'm saying, man. December, we're giving back to the fans. I'm gonna bomb you all back to the fucking Stone Age. Bye! Mr. Shulk, what were you doing? Um, grabbing chests. It's fine, don't worry about it. Nice. Meanwhile, the gates are being attacked. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone's dead. <laughs> oh, that's a big lad. Yeah, this is a smaller version of one of those big things that was stomping around Magna Forest. Sorry, we're late. We had side quests to finish. I saw you fighting those bunnies. I won't forget that. You go no further. Yeah. Thanks, Shulk. <laughs> really giving it your best walk, Ryler. I mean, Melia's is not really going to get a chance to fight here, so. Her trash talking doesn't mean much either. Wait, where'd the, where'd the lions go to? The other guards and Tyrea are keeping them busy so that you can fight this thing by itself. Okay, it's very nice of them. That armor came at a really good time. So many. 
Sometimes I forget how many there are and I just look at the sea of small bouncy things. <laughs> Can't weaken us. I have little bald people. Not to be confused with little bald people. Yes. Only red exists in my world. <laughs> Gates have kind of gone, Lady Melia. Uh, I guess they're not judging by gate closing. Not web. <laughs> I mean, they're kind of just made of wood, though. So, like, I don't think they would really be that be protective. Time, but the numbers are against us. I hate to say it, but if you'd already left when the attack happened, we'd be smoke. Fog King must go. Down with Fog King. Situation is tough. I agree. Melia? I'll do it. I will bring the companions back to lend you aid. They won't agree. You know they despise us. Yeah, well, I got they Empress powers, so... They will understand. I think we're not done. terribly far from the end of Future Yay. Connected. It feels like it, As yeah. Probably, I would say, they an hour and a half duty. left, maybe? Next session, mm -hmm. definitely. I mean, we'll also have the uh, Pond Spectres to finish up, if you plan to show that off. I'll probably get all but one, just so we can get the final one and uh, show off the bus. I think if you get all of them, it doesn't actually conclude until you go speak to the Chief. Yeah, yeah. If you want to finish that off. But I haven't even... Defend this place until I return. Those are your orders, right? Though we're short-handed as it is. Will you be okay? Just go, before I change my mind. Thank you. You know, when we stand on this incline, I'm much taller than you, Tyro. Multiple biggins confirmed! Impossible! More already! If the rift grows any wider than it is now, Grandel is lost. We must hurry. Come, follow me! You head straight for the cape. Don't what forget that Tyrea was able to fight the whole party. On her own, exactly basically. I mean, there was a Telethia there, but it was just kind of smacking know. people around. She was the one doing the fighting. You said it so I'm sure she can handle herself for a little if while. If the rift grows any wider, there's no way we'll be able to hold this place alone anyway. This is our last chance to enlist the Companion's aid. Tyrea. Radzam is trusting you with this. Now you put your trust in me. Come on, we make for the Companion's Cape. Well, we'll do that next time. Time to uh, do a quick 180 and see if any of those quiet moments have unlocked. Again, I think it's not until after this whole segment with uh, keeping the gate from falling. I will check. I went too far. No, Agni's birthplace, that's what I want. Damped. Well, that's for later, I suppose. Now, we are just going to chill here in Grandel. And uh, next time, yeah, I guess it's the end game of Future Connected, so expect me to be a lot more leveled up, a lot more tooled up. Maybe I'll have a new fit on, and uh, we'll see what's what. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time for, like I said, the possible end game of Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected. Bye-bye.